Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit photos to add some life and animation to them in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got some example photos on the timeline, and this is actually what they look like before anything. You see, it's just a photo. There's nothing to it. Um, again, these are just still photos. And I've also got a few textures and clips on my timeline that I'm going to be using to do this. So one of them is just a video of some bokeh lights, like some cars driving by. I found this on a stock footage website. Another one is just some footage of some candles. So you can record your own stock footage or find these. And lastly, I have something from my own textures that I sell on my web shop, justnodeshow.com slash shop. And this is some film grain, some super eight film grain scans that I actually had scanned and shot. And so like some film burns and cool textures like that that we can use. So the first tip, and this is probably going to be the most impactful before we do anything else, is adding some gentle keyframes to the scale and position of our photo. So most of the time, a picture that you take, um, when you put it into a 1920 or HD or 4K sequence, it's not going to be exactly the same rectangular length. So it might have some black bars or you might have a lot of wiggle room to play around with. So what we can do is add a keyframe onto the scale or and or position. So I'll click this little stopwatch icon to toggle animation at the very beginning of the clip. By default, it's, it's a five second clip when you drag it out, but you can make it as long or as short as you need for your slideshow or whatever project. And I'll move over to whatever a little bit later in the clip and I'll increase the scale a little bit. So I will drag this second keyframe all the way out to the end. So we have from start to finish, it's scaling up. Keep in mind that you can do this the other way. So you can do start to finish um, scaling down, but just this simple tip adds a ton of life to your photo as opposed to just playing it flat like that. It could sort of interrupt the flow of your video and not keep people's attention as much. So we can add some simple scale. Likewise, you can also add some simple position if you're want. If you working with multiple photos and you wanna switch up the effect that comes on, perhaps we can just scale a little bit from left to right and we can do both in combination or just one or the other. Here's just moving from left to right and that still achieves the same effect of keeping something visually interesting going on. And then second, we can also add overlays and textures so whether it's film grain like i showed you or some footage of some light leaks or bokeh lights uh, i will just drag that on top and i can adjust the scale and position of this to be somewhat abstract and then i can set this on a blending mode of something like screen or lighten and then that'll also add some more going on into this photo if it's a little strong, I can try lowering the opacity down from 100%, so it's a little more gentle, or maybe try a different portion of the clip where there's not so much going on. And we've got some cool light leaks happening. We've animated this photo in a nice way. Another example just to show you is the candles. You might be wondering how this worked, um, because if you just set them on screen, then it really just looks like there's a bunch of flames on the photo which could be cool, I guess. But what I did here was I just sort of turned it into my own light leaks by adding a Gaussian blur effect onto this candle video. So I just increased the blurriness a lot. I increased the scale a lot and set it on screen or let's try color dodge for this one and lower the opacity a bit. I'll show you on a different photo, for example. And in this case, YouTube, please don't take me down. That's art. And in this case, we have the sort of flickering lights of a candle that are animating this photo. That's what it looks like when it's not on the blending mode. So combining that with the scale technique or position technique, we could have another interesting result like that. Lastly, another thing you may have seen is creating a slight transition between photos. And I did that with this film burn that comes from my super eight film pack. And I just place that in between the clip. And at this moment here where there's a cool 
flash a film burn. I can set this to something like screen or color dodge. And when I press play, you see that it acts as a sort of transition between these clips, like a little film burn flash transition in between these clips. So that could be useful if you're making a slideshow or you can even do a transition like that in between video clips. So, but basically, those few tips combined can be a great starting foundation and thing to keep in your toolbox to always be able to add life to photos when you're editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more on the channels on my playlist. I have one on how to create a slideshow that might be relevant for you. If you want to check out some of the resources I have for effects and textures on my website shop, that's justinodisho.com shop. Or like I used in this video, you can use some stock footage or shoot your own. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.